head to canva.com. And if you want to find our CVs, the easiest way is click on templates here. And then right at the start, there's a resumes section here. You can just click on that. Or if you drop down in the business section, there is a resume button there as well. So you can see at the moment, we've got almost 10,000 different CV formats, different CV templates that you can use. Um, so a huge selection. Some of them are free. Some of them uh, do come with our premium. But what I would do is I'd go through, pick out a few, and then narrow it down from there what you think reflects you and puts the best foot forward for the role you're applying for. Uh, so you can filter here as well. So, you know, say like Tian said, you want to apply for a professional services or a law firm. I would go for a corporate or professional style there. Or if you're applying for uh, Canva, maybe you want to click a more, more colorful CV here. Um, a really good thing to know with all of these CVs, if you download them as a PDF, they will all work with an applicant tracking system. That means the PDF will display fine. It means that the text in that CV is searchable by a recruiter. Um, but what we've also done, uh, we've been working on some CV, some Canva uh, recommended CVs. So to find those, you just search for Canva recommended. And I can't multitask. Awesome. So you search for Canva recommended CVs. So this is just the first batch, but we have more of these CVs coming out that have been really optimized to work really well with a applicant tracking system. Optimized as well for ease of use for you. Um, so here's an example one here, and this has a two page CV. And then on the third page, what we've done is we've worked with our talent team and we've put together some tips and tricks, some CV best practices. So while you're filling out the CV, you can have a look at some of these uh, points here on the XYZ format, similar to what we're sharing with you now. Uh, some of the other CVs, they will actually have these tips ingrained in the actual CV directly under the areas that they want to advise you on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to edit this CV here. So if you've never used Canva before, what I'd advise doing is make sure that you turn on the margins show rulers and guides uh, because it can be easy to get a little bit lost sometimes with where you're placing stuff when you start to position things and a really cool tip too you can set up guidelines like this to help make sure that everything is nice and in line um, and save you a lot of like really zooming in and, and pulling your hair out when you get things unaligned so to do that you just pull it from the ruler you just drag it across there and we can just set up these grid lines just to, if we do want to move things around we can do that without losing track of it so this cv here uh, why this is a canvas cv recommended cv firstly because we talked about keeping the main thing the main thing so nice and clear plenty of white space uh, but super easy to see straight away what's this person doing account sales executive and this is a company here We've actually got a section for a logo here, so you can actually drop in your company's logo. Um, we find visual identification helps people recognize and build that credibility straight away. There's also a little bio, and I think that is a good advice to have a one sentence about what the company does. Um, but you can also hyperlink a company's to their LinkedIn page. So I think that's a good idea. So what I would do, I would go to Sandrine Logistics LinkedIn page, copy that link, and then drop in the hyperlink there. So when a recruiter clicks on your CV, they can just click to pop out to see more about the company there. So we've got your date here, this is pretty obvious. But a little pro tip, most people don't do this and recruiters will find it super helpful. Have a summary of the actual time you spent at a certain company. A lot of recruiters will click on a LinkedIn profile just to see that. Uh, so if you have that there, it's easier for a recruiter to assess how senior you are, how many years experience you have in a certain role. Uh, and assess whether you're right for the role. A few other things I'd like to point out is there's only three dot points. Three dot points is enough in a lot of cases. If you're worried about, you know, all the stuff that you wish you could put in that you're like, oh, they're gonna, they're not gonna have enough info to make the right decision about me, put it in a separate link outside. So have this link here, this um, bio link or a portfolio link or a case study link and put in as much information as you want in that because if a recruiter clicks on that, they obviously want to find out more. But keep your CV nice and concise. You don't have to tell your whole life story. Another little handy tip here. If I was creating this CV for myself, uh, obviously I'd be changing this photo. 
If you have a look at this photo, it's actually quite a, a well-known professional photo in a studio. Um, not everyone has the studio and a DSLR and a professional photographer to do that. Um, I certainly don't, uh, but I took a photo with my phone the other day. And what I can do is I can just drag that across here. And to make that look a little bit more professional, I'm just gonna crop that. Uh, you, know, you just want a headshot in your CV, in my opinion. Also on the, on the topic of photos, they are totally optional. Um, our team is really divided. I love photos and CVs. Tian doesn't like photos and CVs. Uh, but in any case, you're not gonna miss out on a job because you didn't put your photo and you're not gonna miss out on a job because you do have your photo in nearly every case. Um, there's pros and cons, so you gotta consider that. But let me show you what I would do with this photo to make it a little bit more professional so you can't see my um, office in the background and so it matches kind of what was there before. So in Canva, we have a really super handy background remover tool. This is with Canva Pro. So if you just have a free account, you can sign up for a trial to just get use of this if you want. So background remover, that's removed the background and done an awesome job at it too. Uh, no hair out of place. Um, I think that looks a bit awkward though, to be honest, with my head just kind of floating there. So I'm gonna throw a circle behind it um, just to make it a bit more I don't know, match the design of what was there before. So I'm not going to make this pixel perfect, uh, but just to give you a quick kind of illustration. Here's my element that I put in the circle. I'm going to move that to the back. I'll make that a little bit tidier. Obviously, if this was for real, I'd do a better job of this. Here we go, pressure's on now. this okay there we go that'll do for the purpose of this illustration now that color is just i think a canva color i'm going to change that to be on brand with the rest of this cv and make it match what we're doing so to do that i'm just going to go to my color picker and i'm just going to select the eye dropper and then i'm just going to tone that down a bit because that's a bit of an intense color Okay, cool. There we go. That took a little while to get there, but there we go. There's a nice professional kind of photo with a sweet background there. Now, if you're finished, if you're done with that, you're happy with that, obviously make sure you delete the resources page. Uh, but then when you're ready to download your CV, you might have some volunteer extra stuff at the end to kind of share there. Click the share button and click the download button. And this is really important. Just make sure when you download your CV, you download it in PDF standard. There are different options here but you definitely don't want to have your CV in any other format. It'll just make it really difficult for the applicant tracking system. It could potentially um, make a recruiter think that you've got a virus in your CV. So just make sure PDF standard, then you'll be right to go. Be um, nice and compatible with what we're doing there.